A lot of men ask me how to be more confident and get more dates. But what they don't realize is that improving your lifestyle means meeting more women, plain and simple. Let me ask you a few questions to get you thinking. Have you ever stayed home because your friends didn't have time to go out? Maybe you wanted to hit up a bar or club but ended up disappointed and frustrated because you couldn't meet anyone. Or, have you ever moved to a new city and suddenly found it hard to meet women because you didn't know where to go? One minute, you're surrounded by people, and the next, your social life feels empty. Have you had a time in your life where you mostly stayed home and didn't go out much? Think back, could you count your close friends on just one or two hands? If you've experienced any of these situations, something's off with your lifestyle. But don't worry, this blog will help change that. Why? Because you're missing out on countless opportunities to meet women due to your current lifestyle, and that's a shame. You might be thinking, why does my lifestyle even matter in the dating game? Well, scientists conducted research back in the 60s and 70s on what made certain men more attractive. You know what they found? The men with the most exciting, novel lifestyles attracted more women. That's right, guys who lived exciting lives got more women. So, are you starting to see how your lifestyle can make a difference? Do you really want to be the guy sitting at home all weekend, waiting months or years for your next relationship? If the answer is no, then this video is for you. The goal of improving your lifestyle isn't just to meet women, but to attract the right people and opportunities into your life. And your social circle is key to that. Here's tip number one, don't fly solo. Whatever your interests are, sports, reading, movies, stop doing things alone. Always invite others to join you and accept every invitation you get. The more you invite others to do fun stuff, the more they'll invite you back. As Dale Carnegie said, you never know who'll show up when you accept an invitation. Maybe your future date or girlfriend. Tip number two, keep your type of woman close. If you know what type of woman you're into, put yourself in situations where she's likely to be. Love intellectual women? Spend time at art galleries and bookstores. Into activists? Attend political rallies or join activist groups. Like Asian women? Hang out at Asian restaurants, markets, and events. By surrounding yourself with your type of woman, you're increasing your chances of meeting her. It's that simple. Tip number three, never stay home. This one's big, never stay home when you've got free time. I know too many guys who skip going out just because their friends can't join. But who cares if you show up alone? You can make new friends wherever you go. And remember, the social circle game is about making friends, inviting them to hang out, and getting invited in return. Each time you're invited, you're expanding your circle and meeting more women along the way. Moral of the story? You never know what crazy adventures might happen if you stop staying home. The more you get out there, the more exciting your life becomes. Now, I have some questions for you. Out of seven days in a week, how many nights do you stay home? How often are you invited to social occasions, and do you think you can improve that? Oh, and before I wrap this up, if you're into action movies, let me tell you about The Expendables. It's the ultimate action flick where Stallone, Schwarzenegger, and Willis team up. It's full of classic action, just how real action movies used to be. None of that soft stuff. But enough about that. Now, get out there and start improving your lifestyle to meet more women.